I work in water wastewater treatment and I like the idea of trying to limit stormwater. We always have problems with uh, too much flow when it, we have large rain events and you know they do end up overwhelming the lift station. So any amount that you can keep off the roads and out of manholes is definitely a huge benefit. I'm a school teacher so and uh, social studies and outdoor ed and it's important to me to be able to walk the talk. Um, and so also with a history degree I know a little bit about how lawns are unsustainable and a bit of a status symbol and we had this space that just really wasn't doing anything. Uh, so the combination of what I try to teach uh, combined with what this grant was offering has turned into something where I can actually be proud of it and point to something of my own that's sustainable. What we liked about the rain garden concept is it uh, just kind of goes hand in hand with the house we built. We built a net zero ready house and when I came across this program we didn't really want to do lawn or anything out front here because it's so exposed and didn't like the idea of having to water that and everything and um, the rain garden concept just seemed to fit. So. Just having an area where there's some natural plants is nice and once this takes root then they'll be resilient to drought and won't have to use a bunch of water to to uh, water them and you know that also helps reduce the amount of water that's consumed. It's actually easier for me to maintain than having a lawn is is what I found because it takes me about of weeding a week I might spend five minutes weeding it because the all the mulch that's in place and and the density of the planting is it really suppresses weed growth so I spend five minutes going through doing that and then it's also nice like I was just on I was just on vacation for three weeks and I came back and my property still looked like it was well maintained as opposed to you know your lawn gets out of control and yeah. and kind of kind of crazy so got back spent maybe 10 or 15 minutes weeding and and I think it looks looks really great you drive around the community and you see lawns and gardens in various states of repair um, and you also see people putting in work. Um, my poor neighbor across the street here, his garden and his lawn is his pride and joy, but it's also almost a full-time job for him. This is almost takes care of itself. I like the simplicity of it. My wife and I aren't really green thumbs and we have busy lives and uh, we just don't have time to take care of a lawn. So what we like about it is we can come home from work. If we see a few weeds out here, we just pull them as we see them. And uh, we've actually gotten quite a bit of enjoyment out of this, just watching it grow and, and uh, the maintenance on it is quite, quite minimal, uh, especially compared to a lawn. And that just works for our lifestyle and, and works for uh, the type of home we want to live in. So. Lots of people have come, especially when we, we started digging it up and, and afterwards people came and talked to me about it and what the, what the ideas is behind it. And, and I think everyone's, everyone I've talked to really has commented on how it makes my property look way, way better. And I also know some of, some of my neighbors, we, we've been talking about how during rainfall events, we're kind of like keeping an eye on it to see see what's happening. From our front window, we can always see people walking by and their heads definitely turn. And anyone who's a green thumb will sort of stop and look at the individual plants. And uh, I think uh, the neighbors are, are enjoying it as well. People coming and going will comment on it. Uh, also, there's a soccer field just over the way here. So people on their walking on their way towards soccer will often ask about it. I've had comments, yeah, they say it looks really nice and uh, they're, I explain to them what it is and yeah, they're, most people have never heard of it before but uh, they're really interested in it and in fact, yeah, a friend of mine I think up in Cochrane, he kind of implemented a, his own little rain garden after he'd heard about this one. During some of the, some of our bigger rain, rainstorms this year, the rain garden actually filled up to probably like within an inch of the top of it yeah. and then the rainfall event ended and probably within about four hours or so everything just sort of infiltrated was taken up and it seems it seems like uh, it's really good for the plants as well. Major storms and we've had some good ones um, they've handled it. We have neighbors up the street that did that suburban thing where you pave this section so you can fit another car 
and all that turns into is all the water goes straight out to the street, causes floods, causes ice problems in the winter. This is, this is much better. Well, it's fairly easy to implement if you have a small area where you have water that's running onto your grass to do something where you can have a natural rain garden. It looks great too. It's exciting to be a part of it, and I think everyone should should dig up their yards and build rain gardens.